Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5. This is the 15 inch version of this laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up and access your fan and your heatsink assembly in case you want to replace a broken component or in case you just want to clean it, maybe reapply thermal paste. So first thing you want to do guys, shut your computer down the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have several screws. You have three up here along the top of the screen, four down here on the bottom, one to the left middle, one to the right middle. And these are all of your screws. Once you get those screws up, guys, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Metal tends to scratch the case a little bit much. Uh, so plastic pry tool, I like using a hard guitar pick. And you're going to go around this seam right here that you can see right at the bottom of your bottom case all the way around nice and slow and you're going to slowly pry up this bottom case from the computer be careful not to put the pry tool too far in you could damage some components so just keep it on the outside and gently but firmly pry up this bottom case it may take a, a couple passes around once you get that bottom case off this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer now before i do anything in a computer i always remove or at least unplug the battery um, again, just like we unplug the charger, we want to get as little power running through the computer as possible to avoid damage anything while we're poking around inside. So if you have a battery that looks like this inside, um, this is your battery plug right there. And it's actually kind of hard to unplug it independently of removing the battery. So what I did is I just removed my battery. So I had these two screws here on the right, these two screws here in the middle, and this screw here on the left. And that way, once I unscrewed it, then I could pull that out and remove my battery. As another side note, guys, this ribbon cable right here to the left of the battery port tends to stick on the battery. And sometimes when you take out this battery, you pull that right out of that port and you can break that port. So just to be on the safe side, what I would recommend is take out this ribbon cable from that port before taking your battery out so you don't break it. Um, if you notice, this is a black clip that folds up and down, you can see the brass hinges. That black clip, put a small flat pry tool in there and, and open it up. It opens kind of like a book. And again, those are brass hinges. It, it opens on those hinges. So pop that open, slide the ribbon cable out, and then shut that black clip again so you don't break it when taking out that battery. Okay, so now that the computer is a little safer to work on, this is your fan right here. And it's attached to your heat sink assembly that's near the vent and it goes all the way down here over your CPU, GPU area, right down here. So in order to access this, guys, the fan, first of all, you have a screw here, a screw here, and a screw here. Make sure to also unplug it from here. This is a white port on the motherboard, and there's wires going into a white plug that plugs into that port. So instead of grabbing the wires, and this applies to any connection in a computer, instead of grabbing the wires, try to grab the port There'll be two grips on, on either side, and you can use your fingernails, you can use a pry tool, a small pair of pliers, but pull it out by the port, not by the wires. You would pull directly left, and that would come out of that port. Uh, the heat sink assembly is here, and you have three screws over the CPU, two screws over the GPU, and this heat sink assembly will come off. Now, if you guys are here to clean this out, this would be when you can blow out your fan, vacuum out your fan, uh, make sure you get the vent really good. And if you're looking to reapply thermal paste, guys, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to correctly reapply thermal paste. You want to make sure you clean all the old stuff off uh, because if you put new thermal paste on top of old thermal paste, it, it may not do what you want it to do. And again, there'll be a video link tutorial below in the description on how to correctly reapply thermal paste on a CPU and a heatsink. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.